I love where you take that inquiry and design, and then they start looking at the robotic elements that they can incorporate that can mimic um, what it is that the animal does so well. So not only do they have to investigate and learn about the animal, but then you have to apply that information to what you know about robotics and uh, incorporate that into your robot. Mm -hmm. And that actually brings me to my next question. You could have chosen any robot. There are many educational robot and robotics kits on the market. So why bird brain and why the hummingbird kit for this project? That's a fair question. I should have anticipated that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, we thought about this quite a bit before we started the project. Um, one of the things that I really like about the hummingbird kit is that you can bring your own materials to it. Mm -hmm. And so the ability to have students use craft materials, I think um, craft materials don't feel intimidating at all. They're pretty familiar to most people. And so I liked that we'd have a really wide range of materials to work with anything that we wanted um, to bring to the project, the kit could kind of accommodate. 